Hello everyone, welcome to Geometry Nodes in 3.0, and today I will be teaching you how to make this hexagon grid effect using a few nodes and a little bit of math. So, let's get started. This will be a simpler effect than usual, so to start out, let's add in a plane for the hexagon, and to make our hexagon, we simply add in a mesh primitive cylinder, and set the vertice amount to 6. If we do that, as we, can, as we can see, we already have a hexagon. Perfect. So I'm going to apply that geometry node just so that we can add in materials and modify, uh, modifiers later without any hassle. So for the main effect, to make the grid, we are going to use this mesh plane and make a mesh line. Mesh primitive, mesh line. There we go. And then what we want to do with this mesh line is instance our hexagon on it using the instance to points node. Let's drag and drop our object into there. And as we can see, our hexagons are spawning, but they are spawning incorrectly. We need the distancing to be correct. So to fix that, let's set the Z value to zero. And what we wanna do is offset the Y value by a very specific amount, which is 0 0.866, 866, right there. There we go. As we can see, there are some problems here. The things are clipping. But we could change that by offsetting every other hexagon up by 1.5. You'll see what I mean in a second. So to do that, let's add in a set position node right there. What we want to do is select every other hexagon in this group. So to do that, we use the index value. The index value gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for each hexagon. So hexagon 1, hexagon 2, hexagon 3, and so on. So to select every other one, we use a wrap node so that we loop the value from one to zero and then it'll reset. So it'll go zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, or one, two, one, two. I forget which one. But if we use a greater than node right here, set to one, so it'll only select the one after one. And then use a vector math node to make it so that it only goes in one axis, hook, uh, hook that into the offset. And if we put 1.5 here, you'll see that boom, it is working correctly. We now have this working and we could set it into infinity and beyond. So there we go. So to make the grid extend in that direction on the X direction, all we need to do is instance this. So to do that, let's add in a uh, instance on points again. And what we are going to do is use another mesh line, hook that into there. And don't forget, use the Realize Instances node right here. If you don't do that, things will break, so just make sure you have that right there. I'm going to move this part over to here and add in a frame. Make sure you organize your nodes or things do not go well. So this is part one, and this is part two. Part two is on the x-axis. So to make it work, let's go and offset it on the z -ax or x axis, my bad, by three. And as we could see, we now have a grid of hexagons going as far as the eye can see. And that's basically the entire effect. But we can do some more with this. We could add in some shading and randomness, as the uh, original picture was. So to do that, let's add in a random value node, set it to vector, hook that into the scale, and set uh, these two to one so that it's only affecting the z-axis. And as we could see, we have the randomness going on which is exactly what we want. So let's now deal with the shading part of it. So let's go into the shader editor, add in a new shader. As we could see, we have blankness here. But if we add in an input object info node, we could see that we could get the random data. So every single one of these instances here of this hexagon will have a random value. If we hook in a color ramp into there and set this to orange, as we can see, we're getting closer to the end result already. So if we hook that into there and do that, turn down the roughness a little bit, there we go. One thing that really helps with all of your renders, especially ones like these, is adding a little bit of bevel to it. So let's set the shading to smooth and add in a bit of bevel. Let's put in six segments. So as we can see, here is your great hexagon effect that you made yourself. And yeah, that is basically the entire effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out my Twitter page, my Instagram page, which is new, 
and my Gumroad page. There's a lot of free and paid stuff up on there for beginners, intermediates, and experts alike. So, if you like the video, like the video, and uh, subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial.